his eyes, in all of Van Gogh's eyes, they're a soul. And each one is a different soul. Something like this, you know, that this is the stamp for Vincent. And those are typical, what I call, basket weave strokes. I mean, that's also Vincent. Every terrain has a specific character and a specific brushwork. You see some Bogomila Welshovcharev has loved Vincent van Gogh for so long. To her, he's just Vincent. It began when she was an art history student, drawn to passion that imbued his every brushstroke. Her obsession is shared by many. There are dozens of Van Gogh books. Van Gogh's own brother could not sell his work. A few classic films, even a song. Sketch the trees and the daffodils. Here's one of my favorites. Still, Bogomila Welshovcharev is in a category all her own. There are over 205 paintings. As a professor of art history, her expertise goes five decades back, making her one of the top Van Gogh experts in the world. Oh, and I didn't show you this one. But even all that experience could not have prepared her for the discovery of a lifetime. It happened three years ago in Provence. I received a telephone call from Frank Bay, who is a very well-known art historian that he had uh, something that he wanted to show me in relation to Van Gogh. A large, old sketchbook full of drawings. The owners, who have had it in their family for decades, didn't know the importance of what they had. You know, Welsh of Charev remembers the first time she laid eyes on it. And I'm leafing through not one, not two, not ten, but 65 drawings. A treasure trove. Unbelievable. It was a one so unbelievable, Welsh of Charev was filled with skepticism. Finding all of those drawings was, at first, a little bit with reservation, but the moment that I had more than half an hour, the patna is there. The brushwork with the reed pen and the way he executes with such vibrato, with such passion, with such force, every individual object in nature, you can't... You can't duplicate that. Maybe you want to look at her. The sketches were drawn in a ledger given to Van Gogh by his landlords as he lived at a cafe in Arles in the south of France, close to the famous yellow house he so often painted. Over the next two years, he filled the sketchbook with drawings. This was the time that would see him paint the starry night and cut off his ear. In 1890, as he was about to move to Paris, Van Gogh sent the sketchbook back to his old landlords via his doctor, Felix Ray, as a gift of sorts. We have an actual annotation that Dr. Felix Ray, on behalf of the artist Van Gogh, had come to deliver empty olive jars and some hand uh, towels, including a large album of drawings, and he excuses himself for the delay. After that, somebody put them away, along with the other business ledgers, and they stayed forgotten for over a century. These drawings, this ledger, never left the precinct of the precinct of the Yellow House. Unbelievable. So how important is the discovery of these sketches? All the existing Van Gogh sketches were mostly done after his paintings. But these sketches, which look like studies for later paintings, shed new light on his process. One after another, they reveal Van Gogh's early vision for famous artworks. Almond blossoms, cypress trees. At the Art Gallery of Ontario, two of Van Gogh's paintings are the centerpieces of a new exhibit. In fact, one of the Van Gogh pieces currently shown at the AGO, the olive trees, is thought to be the final version of one of his newly discovered sketches. They had the concept of the very wavy terrain. And it's Somebody that meticulousness, that attention to detail, that may be the most important revelation of the new sketches. They show a man at odds with Van Gogh's image as a temperamental and unstable artist. He was the most technically a uh, disciplined artist you can imagine. He was a consistently astute artist, but one that gives the impression of, you know, he does it so simply. Wow, we are all touched by it and he looks so simple, but it is not so the case. And I think the, the sketchbook show that again. But when an artist is this loved, controversy is bound to explode, as it did today. 
The Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam disputed the authenticity of the sketches, calling them fakes, monotonous, clumsy, and spiritless. In Paris, Welsh of Tarev strongly defended her discovery. When I know something is a Van Gogh, I know it's a Van Gogh. She hopes the sketchbook will shed new light on her and Vincent to the millions who care about him, as she now fights not only for his reputation, but hers as well. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.